so I know I don't look my best and I apologize and I'm sorry Mark but if you asked me how I was doing right now I'd, the answer would be I'm tired <laughs> the past couple of weeks have been rather rough on Ken and me last week was difficult on us because we dropped many of the things we were juggling in the parenting area of our lives some of the things turned out to be like eggs and went splat <laughs> And others, luckily, were more like bouncy balls that hit the floor and came back at us, and we were able to catch them and send them back in the air again. Then on Mother's Day, my mom got sick. The next thing we know, we're sitting in a hospital, and she's having surgery. And just so you know, she's, she's doing well. Uh, still got a way to go, but she's doing well. However, for the last 14 years or so, she has been my dad's primary caregiver. And it has rapidly become apparent to her that this role, for the short term, is not something she can completely fulfill herself. And not only that, but she is now going to need a caregiver until her recovery is complete. And Ken and I are going to have to step in there. So I realized on Tuesday, as I was sitting in the hospital with my mom and trying to update everybody who wanted to know about her, about how she was doing, uh, that I wasn't going to be able to film this devotional, um, at least not when we were scheduled to do it. And um, it was my turn and I wasn't really fulfilling my responsibility to the group of us who have agreed to, to do these devotionals. Um, and Ken and I, we were still feeling really bad about and, um, not taking good care of our kids. <laughs> um, and my mom was starting to get upset because she realized <clears throat> the impact that our illness and our surgery was going to have on all of our lives, particularly on Ken and mine, because we were going to have to step into these caregiving roles. And it occurred to me that we were all suffering from what I like to call mom guilt. Mom guilt can be a very powerful tool. Parents, mostly moms, uh, can use it to get their kids to do things that need to be done, in some cases things the parents want them to do. You know, for example, call me because I haven't heard from you in like over a week. You know, that kind of thing. The problem is, is that those of us who do this kind of guilting, or convicting as Christians like to call it, and do it well, will inevitably turn it around set themselves in their in their the sights and then pull the trigger convicting ourselves for every little thing we do wrong and we will be relentless even when we are truly sorry for something that we probably had absolutely no control over at all <laughs> um so here we are Ken and my mom and myself and we're torturing ourselves for various different reasons. But the carnage doesn't have to be great. The solution is simple. We just need to forgive ourselves. <laughs> Easy peasy, right? No. But we are called to do it nonetheless. The Bible says, Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as, Christ, as God in Christ forgave you. Sorry. That's Ephesians 4.32. It also says in Proverbs 19.11, It's wise to be patient and show what you are like by forgiving others. I know what you're thinking. Those are all talking about forgiving others. But you are forget forgiving others. You, the person striving to be the best you can be, is forgiving the you who falls short of perfection time and time again. I think that um, we can take these and, and read them this way instead. Be kind to yourself, tender-hearted, 
forgiving yourself as God in Christ forgave you. And it's wise to be patient with yourself and show what you are like by forgiving yourself. It's not easy, but it must be done. You will be putting up a barrier between you and God. He will fight to tear down that wall. The question is, will you? I encourage you to look at yourself in the mirror and say, I forgive you. I know it seems silly, but do it. And keep doing it until you mean it, eventually. And just remember that God is there with you, looking at your reflection in the mirror, smiling at you with a loving expression, saying, I forgive you too.